What's up guys? In this tutorial we're going to be going over the spry text area and how to validate a text area using Dreamweaver CS4. So I'm going to go ahead and create a text area using my input tab over here on the left. So I'm going to click on text area. I'm just going to name it text area. Area 1. And I'm going to give it 20 columns and 5 rows. There we go. Our text area is now inserted. So I'm going to click inside the text area, go over here to the left, and click on Spry Validation Text Area. As you can see, it has inserted our JavaScript and our CSS for us, and it's also inserted some JavaScript down here. Um, our options are down here at the bottom in our properties tab we have min characters and max characters um, if you want 100 characters to be the minimum characters then you type 100 and then we're going to type 200 for the max and you can see right here uh, we have a counter which we can use these radio buttons to add in a counter to the bottom right next to our text area so as the person types it will actually count the characters that they are typing and it will show it uh, in real time as it's being typed so I'm gonna click characters count to begin with and I'm gonna run this uh, it's gonna ask me if I want to save and then it's gonna ask me uh, it's gonna tell me about actually since I already did it it's not gonna tell me about um, changing the spry assets and creating this spry assets um, folder inside of this same folder that this forms that HTML is located in. So here inside the browser you can see as I start to type it is actually showing how many characters are inside of my text area as I type. There are two different options for this counter. There is the one that counts up as you type and then there's also one that counts down uh, which is characters remaining. So I'm going to save this and run that. I'm going to reload here and now you can see that since our max characters is at 200 then our characters remaining is 200. So you can see that it counts down instead of up now. So just to recap, in this tutorial we went over the spry text area validation uh, we have shown that you can add a minimum amount of characters and a maximum amount of characters and you can also add a counter that counts up and down depending on uh, on what you need so you can also do the exact same thing that we did in the past tutorials with the validate on blur and validate on change I just left it uh, to submit this time so that is it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to be going over validation of checkboxes so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.